Welcome to Dawa CIT. In this session, I am going to talk about ASP.NET Grid View. How to display data. I mean, how to retrieve data from database and display in Grid View. This is a Grid View and there is lot of customer information that is shown in the Grid View by retrieving the data from database. Like customer ID, customer name, address, mobile number, gender and email ID etc. If you want to know how to create and develop pages of this way, then you have to watch this video till the end. Before starting, first of all, we know what exactly the grid view is. Grid view is a rich and versatile control which helps we can retrieve the data from database and display the value of a data source in a tabular format in the front end. In grid view control, we can use DML operation like insert update delete and one special thing select operation so in today's video we will talk about this select operation i mean today we will learn how to bind and display data in grid view so without delay let's get start now we have to take grid view control grid view control is over here toolbox click on toolbox data and double click on grid view click on design auto format you can change the design your according I will keep it simple here ok apply right click here and click on view code after that we have to create a database and table in SQL server so let's open SQL server if you don't know how to create database and table we have already made a video on this topic and I will give the link in the description below to watch from there. Database customer and customer table name. Come back to Visual Studio. Open web config and type here connection string. Inside connection string, type here add name dbcs database connection string name. This is a short name which name throw we will pass connection string. Okay, connection string. data source equal to type here your server name how to find your server name open SQL server click on file and click on connect object explorer See, this is your server name. Okay, so copy, open Visual Studio, and paste here. Control plus B. Semicolon, initial catalog, equal to type here your database name my database name is customer ok customer semicolon integrated security equal to 
equal to true control plus s save open index dot spx dot cs type here name space using system dot data using system dot data dot sql client using system dot configuration type here protected void and type here function name you can type anything what you like so I'm typing gb bind enter and type here a string string name cs equal to configuration manager dot connection string and type here connection string you know so short name which is defined here right copy and paste here dot connection string type here using bracket open and close and type here SQL connection and connection name C O N short name equal to new SQL connection and type here string name okay CS enter curly braces start and curly braces close and type here con dot open SQL command CMD is equal to new SQL command select star from table name this okay this table name customer underscore TBL customer underscore TBL con semicolon enter SQL data reader dr equal to cmd dot execute reader if dr dot has rows equal equal to true type here grid view id where you want to display your data 
open in the .sps click on source and this id ok grid view 1 dot data source equal to pass this SQL data reader name ok dr now we have to bind the grid view ok so grid view one dot data bind now we need to call that function in page load event type here if not is post back this great view okay Control plus V. Now Control plus as save, and now we check. So click on build and build solution. Oh ho, some errors show here. DBCS does not exist in the current context, right? Sorry, I forgot to give quotation mark. Okay, so double quotation mark. now control plus as save build solution build succeeded ok now click on index.spx and execute see all the data are fetched in grid view right in this way you can easily retrieve data from database and display in grid view Today's session is end here. I will catch you with another new video. Till then keep watching Dawa CIT.